All right, guys, um, I'm gonna show you here how to do, uh, change the brake pads on, uh, and I can't wear uh, this brake uh, system. If you can see, I got uh, uh, this brake um, uh, system on this uh, T680. This is a uh, uh, 2016 uh, T680 can wear. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the brake pads. They're really easy to change. You, you don't hit, need much uh, tools. And uh, this is the brake pads that we're gonna put on it. You just go to Kenworth and they make by, uh, apparently by Packard, but they're not Packard. Uh, actually, v Vendix make these uh, brake shoes for, for uh, you guys can get the part number here if you guys need it. Um, but actually is made by Vendix and make it to uh, Packard. So they pack it up as a Packard, but it's a Vendix uh, product. If you can see here the, the uh, Vendix name and, and maybe a part number here. Um, and this is pretty much the, the brake, brake pads that you use and they come with all uh, new hardware to put on it. This is all the stuff that comes with it. Uh, we already changed one and on the other side and we just uh, wanted to show you guys how to change on this side. We want to make a little quick video for you guys. Uh, see if uh, hopefully this help you guys to, to you do your own uh, uh, brake, uh, brake job done. Now, if you can see it on this side, this is pretty much the whole deal to um, uh, take this apart. So we got a little uh, pin, a cross pin here with a little secure cross pin here as well. And if you guys see it, you just you can just spin it around with a, with a flat screwdriver. So you just twist it around or like make it spin it around just to grab it from this end with the channel locks, we're gonna need the channel locks here. So, you just need a channel locks to pull this. If you guys can uh, see on this side, you just grab it and pull it straight out and comes right out, see? It's really easy. It's got a little washer here. Don't worry about you lose the washer, you just throw them out, because you, you get a new one with a new set of brakes. And you can just kinda head it like this. I just use my channel locks. You need a little hammer or, or uh, a flat head screwdriver and kinda hammer it out this way look see and it comes right out you put it right here and it comes pops right out it's really easy peasy see and this you just lift it and uh, pull it out see that's all it is you just this goes back in here then push it down push it all the way down and you just kind of lock it in with you this pin and then you put a secure cross pin here that's it I'll show you guys when the new brakes uh, come back on. Now, this system is pretty much like a car disc brake type of thing. Um, besides this, it worked with the uh, air, of course, not uh, oil. So we just gotta come on this side and what you're gonna need is uh, a ratchet like this. Uh, I believe it's 10 millimeter. Yes, a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet. Cause you guys gonna need to lose the caliper this uh these two pistons right here if you see it these two pistons right here they need to go back this way this way um and you're just gonna do it this on this side you got little plastic rubber here covering so you just kind of remove this out of the way and you see a rusted uh nut there that that one is where that you're gonna need the 10 millimeter socket and it's gonna go here and, and you just it just very pretty uh, self-explanatory. It just left, loose, right ties, you know? So we're gonna go left. Let me see, we're gonna go left here. And if you guys cannot see here, right here, this, this um, pistons, they're gonna move back as I'm turning. See, I'm turning right now, and you probably see how slowly it's moving. Remember, left, loose, right ties. It's just pretty, pretty simple. No, no, a lot of hard work. This is the can where they really made it really easy doing this. And you just loosen it out so you can get the new ones back in and get, of course, get this new old ones back out. But it's really easy, see? You just keep doing it until it stops. Don't put too much force on it. When, when you feel it stopped already, don't put too much force because the, I'll explain you guys, I'll show you guys what can break. See, like right there, you see how it looks? If you if you point the camera on the top you see how it's supposed to look like kind of flat there 
that's that's the, that's the farthest gonna go it's not gonna go more if you keep turning more over here on this side on this side if you keep turning it more what's gonna happen you're gonna break this thing the brake is really easy actually this comes out really easy it's just kind of loose just right now it's stuck a little bit because it's got water in there and it's kind of rusting out but this knot don't worry about it if you're breaking it or losing it because you get a new a, a set of new ones and you break shoes on uh, hardware it's just part of the part of the of the brake set Take this out, and excuse me for the noise. There's a guy with a dozer here. You see this right here? This can break really easy. It's made of some kind of material that, that breaks really easy. I had break a lot of these before because I was doing runs. So I'm trying to uh, make this video for you guys so you guys make uh, yourself uh, easy breaking changing your brake or your brake shoes um and your t680s especially these new ones that are 2018s and 19s and and 20 and 21s they come with a, a lot of them come with uh uh with this brake system and it's a lot easier believe me it's a whole lot easier and you just pull the caliper towards you see it moves by i uh, loosen that up it, it give you all the space that you need see you you your brake pads are loose now you can just easily pop, take it out, just like that. See, simple as that. This this brake pass, this still has some life. I'm gonna go still go ahead and change it because that's the, just the way I am. See, so I changed the, the brake pass on the drive. I changed the brake pass on the drive, so I'm changing brakes on on the on the, on the, on the steer as well. So it just it just so much easier now with this uh, brake system and. This is your brake brake pad. You come with this uh, little piece of metal. You just set it on one side here, on top of this little uh, um, hook here, and then you just press it down. You press it down. And you keep pressing it. You feel you're gonna break it, but it don't break. It's gonna pop in and it's lock in place. See, it's supposed to look like this. See, and you do the same thing with it before you put it on. You can put it on. Uh, one is there as, as well if you like I just do it this way you know it's easier for me you can do it either way doesn't make doesn't make no difference there you go snap in see and this is how easy sometimes because it's a new brake pad it's hard to get it lined up and get it in but oh, see it went right in so really easy see you gotta make sure this lined up with your disc brake. You see, it's actually a little bit inside. So if you have your brake shoe like this, like your brake pad like this, that means it's not all the way in. So you don't wanna tie it and put it back and leave it like that. You wanna make sure it's all the way in lined up or maybe a little more in inside. So just a quick, quick um, uh, um, point, you know. See this one, it's gonna go in. Sometimes it, it's a little hard to get it in because it's not lined up properly. But once you get it lined up, it goes right in. See, it went right in, see? Pretty simple, pretty much done deal. Now I eat quiet, but I'm gonna put a new hardware. You see, this is the thing that lock, lock it in place. You just put it in there, press it down, and we're gonna put a new pin that comes with a new pin. With new, it comes with all the new hardware, so we're just gonna press this one down. Get it in there. And then you probably had it with a hammer or with channel locks, whoever you, however, however you want to do it. And you just keep doing like this. It's all the way in. What I do, I just grab it with my channel locks, spin it around so I get the hole towards the front. Not towards me, but towards the front. Towards that way and that way it's easier to put uh, the little uh, cross pin on it you put um your washer first make sure it's all the way in uh, what i do i lined up this and in, in, in a way there's lined up so it's kind of sp spread out the space you know in here like split it out 
evenly. And then you just put this one here, and you can just push it with the, with the tip of your channel lock. And that's it. Simple as that. Down deal, see? You still got a little bit of play, but you gotta just go back over there with your ratchet, your 10 millimeter uh, socket, and you ratchet, and just tighten it up a little bit, and that's it. Let's go back in here. See, we're gonna put a new, a new uh, um, nut that, that locks and loose the brake shoes in place because we, we're just gonna do it because we have a new one, right? Because they come with new ones. So we just go over here, put it here, a 10 millimeter socket, and just tight it. And you see how that's moving? You don't have to like tight it too much. If you tight it too much, remember, you're gonna break this uh, knot. Not, they, they make really sensitive uh, material that you put a little force on it. And, and what it's gonna do, it's, gonna, it's just gonna, it's just gonna um, crack. break, crack on you. See, that's it. You leave it like that and you can put a new, one of these new uh, rubbers, cover, rubber covers that, that goes all over the bowl. So, because it comes loose really easy. See, you can see, I can pull it with my hand just, just by, see, it's got like a little star inside you see it mm -hmm. and if you can i don't know if you guys can see it this way you can see it's kind of rusting out and and that's because the water got in there so we're just gonna put a new one there and you're just gonna cover it and keep it in there so whenever we need it again is there it's not gonna go nowhere because this this plastic rubber plastic it seals pretty good and it's not gonna go nowhere because this the vibration is not gonna it's not gonna be enough to to this come loose and, and be gone so that's it guys so we got you this brake uh pass change and hopefully the this uh was hopefully for you guys and you guys can do it yourself and save some some money and get it back on the road and start making some more money give thumbs up if you like this video if uh if you want to leave any comments you guys leave any comments thank you guys